Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy and welcome to Horror Game Penumbra Overture. So I know it's a pretty damn old game and there are a lot of people who played it, but for me I know nothing about this game and I think it will be a pretty damn cool journey to start it. All I know is that this game was made by the same people who made Amnesia and I played Amnesia and that was fucking awesome game. Yeah, there's nothing much to say so let's just start this game. Let's go on normal because in hard I guess I will just die too much. So let's just roll. My story began in February, year 2000. Yes? For my part in this allegory, I'm not gonna make the same mistakes my father made. I'm happy with this. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I've ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Yeah. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Okay, cool. Story, never heard it, always skipped it. I mean, I just got this game like one day ago, I just launched it to see how it runs. So yeah, finally we are almost docked, I'd better install my gear. I might be far from home, but chances are I can still pack things up using left mouse, and I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Everything is great. I love this game. And I don't know, it's kind of damn... I just started this game and I said that I loved it. I don't know. I know it's pretty damn kind of maybe long, but okay, whatever. I just wanted to play a horror game for quite a while. And I think I cannot move to newer horror games because this is like classic, right? Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, let's take the notes. Should I like read them? Maybe I'm gonna read the first notes then I'm not... Okay, let's just read. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it's no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need. So that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please, don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I will love you, you know. I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time. But I still feel better knowing they've had to wash. Okay, fisherman's wife love letter. Okay, so that's what she, my wife's kind of scribbled to me, I guess, right? If this is my like cabin or something like that, if I can call it a cabin. Okay, whatever. Let's look at the map because probably that's what we need to do. Oh no, I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Okay, so are you like alone here? I don't think so. What, okay, what is this? Okay, there is my note. Always good to have a notebook and to jot down interesting information and reminders. B. Okay, I think I left my torch in the next drawer next to the bed. It can be open using my left mouse on it, holding the button down and moving uh, the mouse. Okay, it's kind of the same uh, conception as in the amnesia. Okay, let's open this. So you said that there is a torch, really? Okay. The flashlight switches on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully with the shortcut key F. Hopefully, okay. 
now where that emergency glow stick should still be in the locker. He's in my inventory tab. Okay. Get it? So... Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. I must fit can be expected. Okay, let's take the key. And you mean this is a fucking locker? Yeah, good, 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 good opening. Oh, yeah, good thing I have my torch F at hand. This country seems to exist in permanent state of... I guess in permanent state of darkness. Okay, whatever. Let's take, like, this glow stick. Is that a fucking glow stick? Is it? Yep. Could have come in handy and torch runs out of batteries. It should be able to access it through my inventory or with some short key. Gee, that should be everything I need. Uh, I want to get going before dark. Okay, there are some batteries. Ah, some extra batteries to power my flashlight. Good. So how many batteries do I have? It's like... Uh oh, it doesn't tell me actually anything. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna make these episodes, but I'll try to make them like maybe 20, 30 minutes long because I don't wanna make them too long. I'll cut out everything unnecessary. I mean, I'm not gonna be stuck in one place. If I'm ever stuck, if there's ever a puzzle and I'm not sure how to solve the puzzle, I'll just cut that out and you'll see only me progressing. So no worries, can I like take this bag? Okay, yeah, whatever, I'm just leaving this shit. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost my feeling in my extremity soon after, and I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for a shelter. Okay. <coughs> Whatever. Great. Uh, so called to know where I am. Need shelter soon. Okay, great. So he said that I have a note lost in blizzard. Maybe my last entry if I don't find a shelter. Uh, my entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind rowing past, or is that. Okay, where the fuck? There, keep uh, those notes so short. Okay, let's just move forward. Okay, that's just great. Can I like pick them? Uh, if I click and hold the internet button, I should just about managed to pick up that drug the cold match week but i can still throw things using examine button when i'm carrying okay so that means yeah the same thing as in the amnesia okay let's just roll forward okay with shift i can run what in the hell is this i don't care i need shelter looks frozen shut need something to break in okay frozen solid must break ice must break ice okay so I know that this game is, g is going to go dark because I don't think we will be here in the daylight because it's a horror game. Uh, swing the stone more accurately. Oh! Ooh! Good. Okay, great. Hope God not frozen shit, I forgot to read that. Okay, let's just open the hatch. Okay, great fucking awesome okay so yeah let's get down i think that's where our horrors are going to begin i don't know if that was a good idea to start this game because it's pretty damn old one but i still want to play it because there are some people who played it but i want to play it with face cam you know with the newer stuff maybe those who want to watch it and still don't know what it is i'll play it okay i'm going crazy i'm going cuckoo i guess Maybe no. And it's a horror game, so I guess it doesn't care. Jesus, in my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Okay, so I think uh, a heavy-looking wooden barrel it could be anything inside of it. Okay, so I maybe don't regret starting this game. It's okay. My glow stick, can I, like, hide it? Yep. Is there a thing? Should be distant fall back and the torch cuts out. So that means I'll always have the light, right? I guess maybe glow stick won't run out. Okay, whatever. Let's just... What the hell is this? And I want to talk more. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Okay. I don't want to, like, waste my battery because I guess it wastes pretty damn quick. A steel rod. Okay, whatever. Okay, a hammer. Uh, let's see. I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse better. I can make a back swing by pulling the mouse right and then follow through pushing left. The opposite works to pulling back and then uh, thrusting forward produces a stop or a stabbing motion. Okay. If I reckon if I hold down right mouse after a back swing, I should be able to uh, look around. Okay. Mistakes probably were made, but whatever. I got the point of what I read. Okay. It's a 24-hour ration pack. Long uh, past its sell-by date. 
Okay, whatever. So what if I try to put it in my number two? Because I think my flashlight will be... Oh, I don't kind of care. Let's put it on number one. And he said... What the fuck? Oh, so that's how you're gonna be. Okay. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, it's still kind of damn it fucking dark. But I don't know. Is the glow stick here forever? But maybe it will run out one day. That's just... On, and it doesn't say how much glow stick do I have. Okay, so maybe glow stick is forever. Okay, let's not get our hopes too high. But yeah, okay, can I open? Uh, it's wooden door. I hope it's open. Okay, so probably I have to hide my fucking hammer. Okay, it's stuck. There must be something in the way. So let's say, did I get a note? Okay, I'm in some kind of underground installation. But the only room out of the room I'm in is locked. Need some... Need to find some way around. Okay, I guess he read something wrong, but okay, whatever. Ooh, boy, what is this? Flare! Okay, flare could be handy in light source. So maybe glow stick will run out. Maybe, yes, so, I don't know. Okay, let's destroy all these remaining barrels. Because I guess they will come in handy. Everything is here. Will come in handy. It's a flare could be handy in... What the fuck happened here? Oh! So if I crouch, that means I'm crouching only when I'm afraid? Okay, maybe... Kinda makes sense, maybe no, I don't know. Okay, I thought this barrel, barrel is not gonna break, I thought this one is... A tough son of a gun. Okay, whatever. Let's get here. Yeah, actually... Okay. All as they are, they won't pull off with my bare hands. Okay, whatever. So that means maybe I can use, like, my fucking... Okay, that's pretty damn easy. Uh, metal shelf, I guess. Okay, let's... Me let me guess. Yep, it's pretty damn easy. Everything is pretty damn fine by now. Okay, so I probably should crouch there, but... Yeah, so I'll cut out everything. Hawaii. Okay. I wanna go there first. Ooh! Sheesh! Oh my god, there are so many other ways. Oh my god. Okay, no wonder I couldn't open the door. Ooh! Get the fuck back inside, Ken. The hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. Okay, let's destroy like this barrel. I don't know, like, should I use my glow stick? Because I think it will run out one day. Maybe they would have gave me... I would find, like, by the time one more glow stick. If that would have been the truth. I don't know. Maybe yes, so. I don't really kind of know. So that's the door where I came from, right? Okay. Fuck this. This looks like some kind of industrial me mechanism. Although there is a hole in the center. And no way to operate it. Okay, I know what I have. I got steel rod. That's pretty damn... Oh my god, everything's so easy! Why am I so... Cool? <laughs> Maybe I'm not... Oh, fuck, I'm moving it! Oh, no, 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 no. What the hell is happening? Okay, the hatch is opening. Okay, the hatch is open. So should I, like, crouch there? Or should I, like, go and explore other ways? Actually, why not? Should I, like, go there? Or go up there? Okay, what it says... I don't know where this leads... Or what's awaiting for me, but unless I want to starve to death, it's my only option. Besides, maybe this place has something to do with my father. Okay, let's go there. Are you serious now? Okay, whatever I was standing in, I was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness, and uh, buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before. 
But I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of the phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there if something goes wrong part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a close ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were the scared or too far away. Okay, whatever you say, bro. I've jotted down a note just in case. Okay, what note? The entrance to the cave has caved in. There must be another way out. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crashing by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be hurt unless something right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources though. Okay, so if I hide like this, my blue tint of the vision... Uh, uh, my best bet to hide in a couple of seconds or so perfectly still that made me perfectly hidden properly hidden what the hell is this shit so can I like destroy like this barrel okay there are some rocks maybe I'm able like to throw these rocks right so he said like R yeah nope nothing works okay let's tell what it says not as heavy as it looks still it should serve as some uh, form of weapon if I have to defend myself are you fucking kidding me you really want to say that I'll have to fucking fight someone here now and today I do not want to play this anymore really can I, like read something this place must be old if they were still using paraffin lamps looks like there's still some juice left so can I like crank it up oh fucking shit that was my stupid Okay, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? A wooden box, so I don't think it will do something. But okay, let's take a fucking rock because they didn't put like this shit. They didn't put like this shit just for fucking fun, right? There are gonna be fucking monsters. And that's why I don't like playing horror games. Because I am a fucking pussy. Please don't fucking scare the shit out of me. Everything is so dark here. Okay, storage room. That's probably where I... ...will go. Let's put my stone here. I don't think I will be able to fucking defend myself. So I have like only 53% of battery. Why is it so fucking loud? I don't know if starting this game was a fucking great idea and... Can I like save it? Nope. I don't even know how the saving works. Okay, let's hide this shit. And maybe I have something here. Okay, my note, maybe I can like read, nope, be another way out. Okay, whatever. Please. It's dark as fuck! Office, I don't need to go to office. Workshop. But where the fuck is the storage? So is that the storage? Really? Is that what you're trying to sell me, boy? Let's tell that this is... Storage. I don't even know why I come to storage because he said that he's hungry, so maybe he has to eat something. Like, what is his health condition? Uh, I'm as fit as can be expected. Okay. So you're not that hungry, bitch. So did I make a loop here? A storage room. I'm pretty sure there is going to be fucking someone. It still says the same thing, so I can't light it. Fuck. Let's open the door. I'm afraid, please, no fucking scare these scares. And let the fucking game save here. And I will end it then. No! It's quiet as fuck. The music is gone. They are preparing me for a scare. So can I, like, load the game? Okay, I don't think that the game saved because I saw the last savings and it, it said that it didn't save. If this lighter... If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a handy thing to have. But I hear fucking someone in my fucking right ear.
What the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, locked from the other side. That does not mean there is someone still inside. I can hear chattering. Thanks God, maybe I've jotted down an L just in case. Okay, what the L? There is locked door with odd noises coming from behind in the storage. Okay, whatever. Fuck that dude, don't fucking try to fucking scare me. If you fucking go and scare me. Okay, aggressive mode activated. It's locked, so you fucking kidding me? Maybe I fucking have to use my motherfucking... No, if I fucking turn back and there is someone, I'm gonna fucking piss my fucking pants, boy. Okay, there are a few rocks, so does that mean I'll have to fucking defend myself? Okay, I don't know why it's lagging. It's fucking foggy here. This game is all this fucking is still lagging. Okay, whatever. Is there some sort of like medicine? Yep. This is medicine. Painkillers. Great. More batteries. So I have like 59% of batteries. Okay, lighter is a zip of lighter, but it's empty. Okay, I'd prefer the uh, first aid kit, but at least if I'm injured, I can grin and beer it. Okay. Or what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. An old artifact. Okay, whatever. So that means I fucking have to motherfucking come back? Is that what you're trying to sell me? Bitch reaches over and smacks me. Says I annoy the fuck out of Okay, let's just go and... Let's just get out of here once again. Okay, there is someone there. I'm not gonna go and check that out. Can I see if there is like any saving? Okay, so actually I got a saving and maybe I am gonna end this episode here because I got like saving one second ago or something like that after I probably touched that artifact. Maybe after I touch the artifacts, I get the saving. Okay, let's try this out because I don't think that dude is gonna pop out so I don't have to be scared of him. Because it's scary as long as you think something will happen. Okay, whatever. What if I touch the artifact? Okay. Uh, I may never get used to that. That's it! I fucking guessed! I'm fucking smart as fuck! Okay, don't you fucking tell me that I'm not smart. Okay, maybe I'm not because that was pretty damn obvious. But I saved here this thingy thing saves the game that's fucking great okay you know what i'm really hard with the horror games i'm really big pussy when it comes to horror games i don't know how to play them i'm always afraid to move forward i stand a lot of time in one place and don't make any progress but you know what i'll try to do my best with this game but yeah that's pretty much it for this episode and i'll see you in the next one i don't know how often i'm gonna play this game but yeah i know it's gonna be quite a damn good and awesome journey so thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, just hit the like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. So bye-bye. Bye-bye.